Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, how are you? Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing. That's the red button. So today we're going to go ahead and be making some monogram baby gowns. I've been wanting to make a whole new Etsy shop with just monogram baby gowns, monogram baby items in general because we have a lot of gowns here at AJ Blanks. I can show you the options. I just walked past them. We have for gowns. So we have the camo gown here and it comes with a hat and then we have this animal print baby gown it comes with a headband we have a tie-dye gown that comes with a hat and a floral gown that comes with a bow uh, headband and then we have gray hats light blue hats pink hats red hats yellow black <laughs> white um lavender and that's just more blue hats so the gowns it's the same colors so red white white um lavender ooh, more lavender blue gray pink and yellow so I have all these gowns i might as well do something with them and i feel like monograms are super easy super simple instead of doing like the whole applique process which i still love but you know i'm trying something different so i want to go ahead and make some today um we do have a house to go see in about an hour so i'm gonna see what i can get done in this amount of time I told y'all i'm trying I'm trying to keep up with the youtube and the house hunting but we will be taking you guys uh house hunting with us later so that'll be probably the next video but yeah so I'm trying to pick, I want to do a gray gown, so I'll do a gray gown, obviously you need a gray hat, gray hat, gray gown, and then I already have the floral gown in the room, so I guess we can just start with this for now, and depending on how much time I have left, we could do a, another one. If you are interested in purchasing a Melco EMT16X embroidery machine, you can contact Todd Eggersman. I always put his information right here. Mention Angela from YouTube and you'll get the best deal ever and you get an awesome salesman to work with. Now let's get back to the video. The video. So to do the hats, I'm going to be using the Melco Fast Clamp Pro, which are these. That's what they look like. It is super simple to um, use. So if you don't have this, you can use... Um, mighty hoops or you can use fast frames i think is what they're called and then you float it so that's another option um so yeah there's different options on how to do hats so i'm gonna go ahead and get this hoop and this hoop um, i'm thinking red um i like red and gray combo so boy stuff is easier for me to figure out girl stuff is hard okay so <laughs> we're gonna do red on them um i'm gonna use a five what is it five inch mighty hoop the ones I do for left chest logos, uh, I'm pretty sure it's five inch, yeah, five and a half inch mighty hoop. That's what I'm going to go ahead and use. And let's go ahead and get started. So this is a zippered gown, so we do have the zipper that will zip all the way up until about right here so that you can, because people like to do the names across um, all the way down, so having an easy access opening definitely helps. Okay, so this is the monogram. I'm going to go ahead and put on the gray uh, baby gown. And then I'm going to put the name Jordan on the baby hat. And I'm going to do it in red. Okay, so for the baby hat, I'm going to be using the Melco EMT 16X um, with the flask clamps. I was going to go ahead and start the other gown. But if I started the gown, I wouldn't be able to explain this to, <laughs> explain this, uh, to you. So the fast clamps are super quick, super simple. Let me grab the hat. Okay, so... Here's the baby hat. Um, in a normal situation, if I didn't have the fast clamps, 
What I normally would do is have a piece of tape that I write, it'll focus. I write the letter F on it. That way I know, okay, this part, cause the name's gonna go this way. I'll put this here to tell me, okay, this is the front. And the, the name needs to be this way because it's how it's gonna stitch out. So because this, I'm using the fast clamps, I don't have to do this. Um, and what I would also normally do is the front of this hat, this like the, whatever this is called, is seven inches long. So you want the name to be centered in the middle. So about three and a half inches is where I would mark. That way I knew where the center was and I'm embroidering. But there's a little trick with the fast clamps that helps and I don't have to do any of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the hat inside out. And then I'm just gonna hoop it just like this. On the side of the fast clamps, you see these lines. So these lines help you line up your garment, whatever you're doing, in this case the hat, it'll be lined up evenly on both sides. That way it embroiders straight. So on both sides, there are the marks. So I'm going to make the, I'm gonna put the fast clamps one from the back. So I want, I can't see, but I think it's about right here. Um, the camera's in the way, but I want to line it up to this marker on both sides. So I'm gonna put the hat on and you have the seams. So I have the seams even on both sides and I am going to close the fast clamp down to make sure it lines up with that marker and I'm gonna lock it and the same with the other side. I'll lock it down. So both sides are locked in. So I'm gonna use a piece of cutaway stabilizer. I'm gonna cut a little piece. I'm gonna place a piece of cutaway stabilizer between the hat and, um, I forgot what this part is called, but between both so that it's like kind of like a floating, like a floating stabilizer. I don't know what you call it, but that's what I'm doing. Um, because the hat is like a flip over, so like it's gonna flip, the cutaway would not touch the baby. That is, uh, that'd be irritating having this on your head, <laughs> so. If it was a hat that didn't have like the flip up option, I don't know what the heck you call that, but the flip up option, then I would try to use a uh, tear away. But because it's not going to bother the baby, cutaway just gives it the best durability and stitches out the best, especially with these machines. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece. The name's only one inch, so it really doesn't have to be that big. And of course, I'm going to cut it myself um, after it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and place this. All right, so it is now placed. I'm gonna go ahead and load the design onto the Melco. Okay, so here's the Melco software. This is their easier version of, of their software. Um, I want the name to be in red, so I'm gonna go ahead and click the color and change it. Click the, the step down here, then click red, and it changes it to red. I'm gonna click okay. Um, I'm not gonna flip it upside down because the shirt not the shirt because the hat is inside out if the hat was not inside out then i would flip it because it's inside out i do not need to flip it uh i have the fast clamp chosen on the nine centimeters and you get that number so you get nine centimeters right here right here you can see um where this block ends is the nine centimeter mark that's how you choose your fast clamp size so it is nine centimeters okay also on the software it says it's going to take three minutes to stitch out name um the speed is at 950 everything else is correct so i'm just going to go ahead and do a trace real quick so with this design i want it to be very very close to the edge um and it is already so it looks like it's good to go so i'm just going to go ahead and start it
Okay, so now the hat is done, so I'm gonna put it back right side out. This is what it's gonna look like, and just flip it up. I gotta cut the stabilizer though, but flip it up, and there you go. Here's the hat. Let's go ahead and start on the gown. Okay, so here is the software. Um, again, I wanna change the color of the thread. We'll click on the thread. And down here, it says it's gonna be, it's gonna stitch needle three, which is orange on the machine. But I don't want it to stitch that color. I want it to stitch red, so I'm gonna touch it. Then I'm gonna change it to red. And now it just has changed to red. Um, so then I'm gonna click OK. And it has, a rec red <coughs> it has the correct hoop selected. The five and a half inch mighty hoop. That's why you see those magnets there to tell you it's a mighty hoop. Speed is correct. Um, the only thing is it's not centered, so I want to go ahead and center it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this little cross arrow thing, and then this is to center. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click center. So now it's going to center it. Now I do want the design all the way up, so I am gonna put it back. But I just wanted to show you guys. Um, how to center design in the hoop if you needed to so I'm just gonna go ahead and hold this and oh see I went too far so it's like red it's not gonna let me embroider so I'm gonna go down until it lets me all right so it went back to a dash line so now all I have to do from here is go ahead and hit start but I'm gonna click that it says this will take 13 minutes to embroider So here is the gown and the hat to match. Super cute, super cute. I love designs that are just straight stitching because it literally, it saves time. You just place it, push start, and you can go upstairs, <clears throat> do other things, you know. Being a mom and running a business, uh, you gotta save time when you can, and this definitely will be a lifesaver. So I'm gonna add these to the website. I'm gonna go ahead and start this pink one. I'm just gonna throw a name on it. Um, because this one does not have a hat, it has a headband to go with it, but if you want to purchase the hat, you can obviously purchase a pink hat to match because it's the same pink as this. Let me go ahead and just do that real quick. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and load the other name onto the Melco. Click the file button and the name is Adley. Click on it. Okay, so here is the name. Again, now I need to change the color. It says it's red. I need it white. So click here. Touch down here and touch the white. All right, now the name will switch in white. I'm gonna hit OK. And like before, I like my designs to be all the way to the top. So I'm gonna move the hoop all the way up. Some more. 
perfect and I'm gonna go ahead and trace the design and we're gonna go ahead and start it says it'll take three minutes to embroider Okay, and it's hard to see. How can I get you to see? All right, and here is the second one. Still has a stabilizer in it. I think it's super cute. So this comes with a headband, and I do sell the matching swatches for my pattern ones. So I have a matching swatch for this one, the camel gown, the tie-dye gown. So you can get all the blanks that you saw today on ajblanks.com. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now it's time to go look at some houses. Bye!